So in this video, we're going to cover the basics of UV mapping in Maya, which basically means to wrap a texture around an object. Um, in my previous video, we looked at making some simple Lamberts or materials, which are just basic colors. And we also looked at applying texture files too. So what I did before is I right clicked, held, holding down the right click, I added a new material, added a simple Lambert. Under the Lambert, click the checker box, chose a file, and grab a simple building side, and it wraps around. Let's make sure that we're naming our textures. Let's make sure that we're not renaming the file, but we want to label this Lambert. Instead of Lambert 6, let's call this building 1. Because I might have a few different building textures that I throw in there. So you can think of adding a Lambert or a material to an object as just dumping a paint bucket all over the object. And then when you apply a material, or I'm sorry, a texture via file, you can think of that as wrapping a piece of paper around your object instead. <clears throat> so what we need to do is we need to create a projection to map this around. To do that, up here at the top we go to UV. And let's start by automatically. You're trying to have Maya automatically map out this projection. You do need to do this. So if I zoom out, I can see that I've got now six planes, just like I've got the six faces of that object. And I've got little green edges or red edges to each of them. But if I look closely, that definitely didn't map out correctly. That definitely does not look the way I think it needs to. So we need to go into what's called the UV editor. Open that up. And I get a whole separate window. I like to drag this window a little over to the side so I can see both windows still. And in this window, we see that I've got six different planes here. If I click on one, I can see how they correspond to different faces on my object in my main window. If I right click and hold, I can click on individual edges or individual faces or the object itself. Right click hold or the object itself. So I'm going to click on individual edges. If I hover over edges, I can see that they're connected to each other. If I hover over this red edge right here, I see in my other window, this edge and this edge light up red. So they're the same edge. So if I click on this edge, I can go up to cut and sew, move and sew. Now note that this is in Maya 2018, so that might be a little bit different. But what that just did is it took those two faces, it cut up the planes from this menu, sewed them together, and now these two faces look like they belong together. So I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna click on this edge to find out which one it is. Over here, I can go to cut and sew, move and sew, and bam, it moved those together. So I've got my four sides that I'm gonna do over here. So that's one more. Click on that edge, right? Uh, click over on cut and sew, move and sew, and I should be able to. Looks like I don't even need to move and sew that last one. So now I've got these four boxes over here in this menu. That if I right click and click on the face, I can click on each box on their own, or I can hold shift and click on all four of them. Now with the same functions over here, if I, if I click W on my keyboard, it lets me move them around. I can see that when I move around the boxes in this menu, the texture moves over on, on the box in the main menu. Also, if I click on R, it lets me rescale them, R on the keyboard. And I can make the texture kind of increase in size or decrease in size. Now if I zoom out, if the box leaves this image, it duplicates itself or starts repeating itself. So what I can do is I can center it. Uh, with W, I can hit R to scale it up. I can make it about the same size as that image. And I can move so just one box takes up, or one plane takes up that box. And if I look, over here in my building now, the sides line up. So I can close that out. And that's the basics of UV mapping. I can also apply that to individual faces. So if I right click and go into face mode, and then right click on a face, I can apply a new material or an existing material. So maybe I want to apply that blue that I made last time to be my uh, top. 
So I'm going to click on that, that face, right click, assign existing material, and report. And since I was in face mode and I clicked on that face, it only applied at the top. So that's the basics. From here on out, I could maybe apply a road texture if I've got it. I'm going to right click on that face, assign new material, new Lambert. And then over here, again, I just click on that checkerboard. I find my file. I think I got a good road in here somewhere. Yep. I applied it, but now I got to UV map that road because obviously that road didn't come in correctly. So I'm going to click on the object, UV. Let's project it first. And then go to the UV editor. And it looks like this face is the only one I need to worry about here. So I'm going to move this face around, and scale it until it looks like it's going to fit. So I'm going to scale it pretty big so I get a lot of those uh, copies and repeats in there. And bam, it's looking like a pretty good rope. I'm going to close that out. That was Lambert 7. I'll rename that Road 1. And I can just apply it to another piece. Looks like I need to UV map this one as well. So I'm going to go to UV. Automatic to project it first. UV editor. And I'll scale it as needed. So I can go ahead and look for more textures, apply them uh, with basic materials, and then use the UV editor to start mapping out my textures and making them look nice and accurate.